everyone, it's me again. Um, I'm back again with another opening video. Um, I still have other videos that I have to upload um, that I took a while ago. And I just, I don't know, I've been kind of procrastinating on posting those. Um, I just haven't been active on YouTube as much lately. I mean, like, I've been watching YouTube stuff here and there, but... I haven't, like, really been in the mood to, like, post stuff or anything. I don't know. It's just I keep forgetting or whatever. Um, I've just been focused on other stuff at the moment. So it's, like, it kind of slips my mind that I need to post stuff on YouTube. But I'll get to it, though. So I will probably get this one <clears throat> uploaded, like, after I do this. So, um... This one will probably be up, and then I'll get the other ones I've been meaning to post at some point. But those I hope to get up soon. So, anyways. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be visiting my sister at the end of this month, so I'll try to get them up before then. So, yeah. Anyways. And I might make a video, like, about that later or something. Or, like, just talking about um, convention stuff. Because, yeah. Um, anyway, so let's get to this video, since this is the focus right now. Um, I received this today. It's <clears throat> kind of like a birthday present to myself, because my birthday's, like, in a couple days. So, like, I decided to get myself a little something, because, come on, we all treat ourselves on our birthdays and stuff. So, you know, I decided to get this, whatever is in here. So, yeah. Shall I open this? I think I will. So, let's get to it. I don't think I need scissors to open this. And they're like all the way up there and I don't want to grab them. So, yay. There we go. That was easy. Oh, okay. So, here is the first item. It is Dororo from um, Carrie Ogunso, Sergeant Frog. Um, I've been a fan of that series for a few years now, but I put it on hold for a while. Like, I watched, like, 22 episodes, and then I had it on hold for the longest time. And then I just recently picked it back up, and I'm obsessed again. So, I, um, purchased a couple of the frog plushies on eBay. So, that's Dororo. And the next, the second one I got is Giro. He's my favorite. Um, him and Dororo are my favorites. So, but yes, there's Giro. Isn't he so cute? I love Giro. Um, yeah. So, my two froggies, aliens, whatever you want to call them. So, yeah. I might collect the other one sometime, but yeah. So that's it. Yeah, that didn't take long to open, but I adore them. They're so cute. I love the frogs, and I love Sergeant Frog. I know I haven't, like, really talked about it at all, um, in my videos, but, like, I've been a fan for a while. It's just, you know, I kind of forgot about it for a while, but then I started watching it again, and it's like, I'm hooked again, because it's an amazing show, and it should be more popular, so, I don't know why it's not. It has, like, how many episodes? Like, 300 and something? Like, 358? And it has a bunch of movies, but, like, you don't hear people talking about it a lot. I don't know. I know they had a, like, spin-off recently, like, in the past couple years, but I heard it wasn't that good. Like, episodes were short, so I can see why. But, I mean, the original is definitely, you know, great, so... You know, yeah. And I know Funimation, or Funimation only dubbed, like, 70 episodes or something like that. And they, like, kind of dropped it or, like, put it on hold or something. I don't know. Or whoever dubbed it or whatever. But, yeah, I just, I don't know. Will they finish it? Who knows? Um, am I going to stop watching after I finish the dubbed episodes? I... Probably not. I do want to continue watching it even after I finish the dubbed episodes. Um, I heard the dub is, like, different than the sub, though, because, like, in the dubbed, they, um, make references that 
people in America will understand. Like, you know, they make U.S. references and stuff like that for, you know, us to get. Because, you know, some of us aren't as in the know with Japanese culture. So, like, they put in the dub, they put, like, references that people in the United States will get or whatever. So, like, in the Japanese one, I'm sure they're all Japanese references. But I get a lot of Japanese references, so... I mean, I know they refer they still re reference Gundam, obviously, in the English dub. But, I mean, you know, I know Gundam, so it's like, I get the Gundam references. And they do reference Tokusatsu stuff, and since I'm a Toku fan, of course I get those references. Um, I love the guy that references Space Sheriff Gavin. He's funny. Um, yeah, he calls himself Space Deputy. So it's like, I of course I totally get that reference, because I know Space Sheriff Gavin, so, you know... Of course, I get that reference. Um, but yeah, I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of the Japanese references if when I watch the sub. So, But I love the dub voices, though, so it's going to be hard to switch. But, you know, since I love Kiro so much, I do want to finish it eventually. So I will probably switch over to the sub when I'm done with the dubs. So I just really love the dub voices, and I love the narrator. He's so cool. Um... But yeah, it's just, I love the dub so much, so it's going to be hard to do the Switch, but, you know. I remember, like, way back when I was, like, first watching anime, like, I watched a couple series that weren't fully dubbed, like Super Gals. Like, they only dubbed the first season. The second season, I don't think they ever dubbed. So I stopped watching it because I, that was back when I just watched dubs. I didn't watch subs because I wasn't used to reading subtitles at the time. You know, because I wasn't used to it yet. But, you know, since I'm used to it now, I might go back and watch those shows in the sub. So, yeah, that was my reason why I didn't watch subs, because I wasn't used to the subtitles. But then, I, over time, I got used to reading subs. So, I mean, obviously, I watch subbed anime a lot now, so it's like, you know, it, it's just like breathing for me. It's like, it's, I don't think about it much when I watch subbed anime, so it's like... You know, I watch both subs and dubs, so. So if I hear people, like, arguing which one's better, I'm just like, I watch both, so I have no opinion. I like them both, so, you know. Although I can argue that for some animes, dubs can be better sometimes, but that's rare. Like, for example, Hitalia, because, like, they have the accents in it, so I think the dub's better because... It feels more authentic that way because of the different accents with the different countries. That's just me, though. Anyways, I'm going off on, like, other subjects, so I will probably end this before I start turning this into a, um, other kind of video because this was just an unboxing for these two. So, aren't they adorable? Yes, they're adorable. I think the person I bought these from had the others, but I just wanted to get these two, so... They're so cute. And look, they can hold hands. I don't know, I'm being a dork right now. Excuse me. <clears throat> but yes, I'm a total nerd. So, you know, they're so cute. And also, like, for Fanime, I'm probably going to do a um, human version of Giro is what I'm planning. So, also I know he doesn't have his um, belt thingy, but that's okay. I can probably make him one. So, I can make him his little belt so yeah anyways so that's all for now i'm probably gonna make a video in the near future about like cosplays and conventions because i have changed some stuff up and i know now what events are coming up and what i'm most likely going to so i should probably make a video of that soon also i might do a video in cosplay soon because i'm getting a cost um i'm getting a cosplay within a, the next week or two, and I kind of want to make a video in that cosplay now. Um, the cosplay I'm getting right now is Tifa from Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. I've kind of been wanting to do that cosplay for a while, but, like, I was never, I never played Final Fantasy VII. Like, I remember I played some of it on an emulator way back a few years ago, but I never finished it. Then I got it on Steam recently, because they have the old Final Fantasy games on Steam, and I'm so thankful for that, because, you know, I've wanted to get into the franchise, but I never had a way of playing the games, because my only console was a PC, 
I know. I'm deprived. But yeah, I mean, I think I've talked about this before because I did, did Renoa last year from 8, and I was finally able to play 8, and it's a lot of fun. I still haven't gotten past that one boss yet, though, because it's super tricky because it's the one that forms with her, and I'm like... Even reading walkthroughs, I still haven't been able to beat it, so I'm just trying to, like, grind and level up so I can finally fight that stupid thing. Okay, but I'm, like, close to the end, so. And I've had three for my DS, but I'm, you know, sometimes I procrastinate playing that, but I've played a good amount of three, so. Yeah, um, and I'm currently playing seven, and it's a lot of fun, but... You know, I like a lot of the... I like 8 and 3 as well. 7 is just overrated, but I still love it, though. Like, I don't hate 7 because it's overrated. I still like it, but I don't... I don't call it the best Final Fantasy. A lot of people do, but I don't know. And I really, really want to play 10 soon because I still want to do Summoner Yuna eventually. So... I want to play that one, because I hear 10's really good, too, so I want to play it. And I love the outfits in 10. I love Yuna's Summoner outfit, and I want to make that, because it looks like so much fun to make. Okay, I've had caffeine. I'm sorry, that's why I'm going off into random topics. So I'll stop here before I start to... Yeah, I was running out of room, so that's obviously a sign that I need to stop this here. Okay, so I will see you guys later in my next video, so bye-bye! And Giro says bye too.